If you clicked on this video, you are already heading in the right direction. So you are ready for these tips to make yourself a better lash artist. What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ariel, if you didn't know. Today's video is gonna be a motivational video for you guys. I know how hard it can be as a lash artist, especially in that beginning phase. I'm gonna give you three tips on how to keep yourself going as a lash tech. I do wanna say, first of all, that when I started doing lashes, I definitely know how hard it can be. I know how challenging it is, especially when you wanna get something done so right and you're so determined to get it done and it just can't work out for you. But unfortunately, lashing is a learned skill. It is something that can be taught. And with that, it doesn't come naturally to everybody. So it does take a lot of practice. It does take a lot of growth and it does require you to kind of have some self learning done on your own. You need to be able to go out there and kind of push through for yourself because at the end of the day, no one else is going to do it for you. So you need to make sure that you are making sure that you're succeeding. My number one tip is don't let the hardship bring you down. So I know how hard it can be at the beginning. I know how difficult it is trying to do it when you're practicing, 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 and you can't just get it. You need to absolutely embrace the challenge of it because that's how you're going to appreciate the success. You need to make sure that you embrace all of that struggle because it is a part of your lashing career. It is literally what's going to take you to the next level of your lashing career. It's what's going to make you. Those days when you're extremely frustrated, the days where you feel like you are literally wanting to just give up, those are the days that actually make you a lash artist because a lot of people will actually give up. And you need to be that person that doesn't give up and pushes past it. Sometimes you need to take a step back and that's totally fine. You need to get over it. You can't just let yourself dwell on that. You can't let that hinder you. you can't can't let that stop you from doing something that you want to actually do. So you need to make sure that you're embracing every single stage of the lashing process, whether it is good, whether it is bad, whether you have a complete terrible day or you have a great successful day, you need to make sure you are taking it in good graces every step of the way. And like the things that can really frustrate you, I know what they are. Like I know how it happens and where you start to feel that frustration. It usually comes from when you're looking at the time and maybe your time got a little bit longer. Maybe it didn't reduce the way you wanted it to. Maybe your isolation isn't that great at that time. Maybe your fans aren't fanning properly. Maybe the lashes when they open, they're not looking the way you wanted the style to be. Maybe the placement is off. There are so many factors that definitely take time. Number two is remembering your why. Everybody does something for a purpose. We all do something for a reason, but you need to remember what your why is. So that way, when you start to feel a little bit down, you start to feel like it's time to give up or you're just not feeling it and it's kind of almost overwhelming you, you need to remember why you're doing it and use that as your motivation. You can't necessarily look to other people to help you be motivated because at the end of the day, especially with lashing, it's something that you have to figure out on your own. Most of these courses are two days, three days, max four days. And it's because everything you need to learn about lashing is literally in those courses, or at least as much as someone can teach you. But then after everything else is dependent on you and you have to be the one to think about it, sit down, grow yourself, go out there, find people who can help you find the type of person or the type of lash artist you want to be and push your way into that direction. And you need to remember why you're doing it. Is it because you want to be a full-time lash artist? Is it because you want to have your own brand? Is it because you want to get out of your nine to five job? What What's your reason? Maybe you want to be financially free for any type of reason. Like you just need to figure out what it is that you're doing it for and then use that as your motivation. And my last tip is you need to fake it till you make it. So what that means is basically like I strongly believe in manifestation. I strongly believe in believing in yourself and it all starts with how you feel about yourself and how you feel about your situation. And you need to reiterate to yourself how you want to feel. Let's say you feel sad today. You feel sad right now the only person that can get you out of that is you you need to make sure that you're not feeling overwhelmed or frustrated by what you're doing and get your mind into a place where you know that you can push forward so when i talk about manifestation and things like that like it's all about positive affirmations it's all about speaking to yourself in a positive light and positive vibes positive energy and to make sure that especially when you're talking to yourself you can't control what other people say but you can control what you say and how you speak to your own self and if no one else is being nice 
nice to you, no one else is being kind to you, you yourself need to be kind to yourself. So what that means is if you want to be an amazing lash artist, you want to be an amazing lash tech, you need to get up every single morning and tell yourself that you are an amazing lash artist, even if you're not there yet. Because the more you say it, the faster you'll get there. And I kid you not, if you say this to yourself every single day, you will be an amazing lash tech. It just comes from within and you need to surround yourself with that positive vibe that's going to push you in that direction. Okay, guys, that is it for this video. I hope that you guys like this one. I hope that these motivational videos really help you guys out because honestly, I know I try to fit these in wherever I can because I know how hard it is. It's not just about the skill, the technique. It's literally about your mindset. And this is such an important factor when you're trying to create something for yourself where it's not usually normal. So 100%, you need to make sure that you're putting yourself in the right space of mind every single day. So I know that when people watch my videos, I know people struggle. I get a lot of comments on people that are like, how do you keep going? How do you get out of that like frustration period? And to be honest, like I said, it's just a part of the process. So I'm so happy that you guys are interested in videos like this as well, because this is literally the key to the overall lifestyle of making sure that you're a successful lash artist or successful in anything you do, especially when it's something that's out of the norm. So definitely keep yourself motivated, keep yourself learning, and you will get to where you want to be. So if you guys like this video, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll be back with something new next time. Bye.